The Invite section allows you to invite new members and find or revoke all invitations that have been issued but have not yet been accepted. To invite a new team member, click Invite New Member and fill in the required fields. The read-only option at the bottom is an option that is used to define whether a new team member will be a read-only user with no editing or creating rights, only viewing rights. This type of user is available for all types of clients in case, and you can have an unlimited number of them. The access option should be unchecked before sending an invitation if a new member should only have a limited scope of projects to have access to. Otherwise, they will automatically gain access to every existing project in case upon joining your workspace. When you are done with your selections, you can click the Invite button. To revoke an invitation that has not been accepted yet, click the three dots button. You can also invite your teammates in bulk. The Email List section here will allow you to include several emails at a go. Ensure to put each email you want to invite in a separate row when preparing a bulk invitation. You have the same options as with a single invite to invite them as read-only users or give them access to all private projects. When you are done filling in the details, click the Invite button and the invites will be sent. The Filter button allows you to filter the pending invites by role. This can be useful if you want to find invitations that have been issued for someone to join with a specific role. You can also use the search box to find a particular invitation by inserting an email address or the first and last name of an invited person. Once an invitee accepts your invitation, they would be moved over to the Users section. If you have more questions on this or any other feature, you can check out our help articles and our FAQ section. If you do not find an answer to your question, or if you have any feedback that you'd like to share with us, just drop us a message.